uh, hi everyone in this video we'll talk about the concept of price elasticity of demand so first let's uh, draw a demand curve so if we have uh, price on the y-axis and uh, quantity on the x-axis then the demand curve will look something like this so basically it means that uh, if the price are higher then the demand for that good will decrease because people would try to substitute for something else and if uh, that price is lower then more of the purchases will be done for that good uh, this is generally true for most of the products in the market but for certain products it's not true but most of the time the, the curve is very linear and uh, it has a negative slope so uh, how will we go about the price elasticity so if we calculate elasticity so elasticity is equal to percent uh, change uh, in quantity uh, for percent change in price so please uh, pay attention to the percentage change so this is not the slope of the line but it's the percentage change uh, in the quantity and percentage change in the uh, price so if it would be a slope of the line then it would have remained constant uh, in the whole range but that's not the case so let's uh, take an example so suppose uh, if we have price and we have quantity so the price is hundred dollars if the then the quantity is, that can be sold is only one but if it's ninety dollars it's two uh, if it's eighty dollars it's uh, three and we keep uh, doing that and we go to twenty for uh, nine and ten for ten so this is the quantity and this is the price right and this is in dollars so now if you need to calculate the elasticity uh, in uh, in the higher uh, price range then what would be the elasticity uh, elasticity will be equal to um, 100 minus 90 or oh, sorry uh, it will be the quantity so it will be equal to 2 minus 1 divided by 100 minus 90 so i take uh, this numbers here right so uh, if i take these numbers so then i'll get elasticity is equal to uh, 1 by 10 but uh, if uh, you remember i talk about that it's not the slope but it's a percentage change so we also have to divide this uh, by 2 and this by 100 so if we do that that be equal to 100 by 2 or this will be equal to 5 so the elasticity is 5 so that means that uh, if we have a change a uh, small change in the price of only ten dollars the quantity will increase hundred percent so you can see that you only made a change of ten percent here so we only had ten percent change but in this range the percentage change is hundred percent so you increase uh, the demand by hundred percent by making only a ten percent change in the price but now uh, if we look at the uh, lower price range then in this case uh, elasticity will be equal to now we have uh, 10 minus 9 divided by 10 and then we have uh, 20 minus 10 divided by 20 and sorry this will be 9 here so in that case uh, it will be equal to uh, 1 by 9 divided by 1 by 2 or that will be equal to uh, 1 by uh, 4.5 so if you if you if you look here uh, then uh, compare uh, these two so the elasticity varies a lot uh, between higher uh, uh, end of the demand curve or the lower end of the demand curve so what basically it means is that uh, if your uh, price change by almost uh, 100% or, or it decreases by 50% you can say so it decreases by 50% then the change uh, in the quantity uh, is, uh, come, is about uh, 11% so you don't have a huge change in the quantity if you have a huge change in the price so that's why the elasticity 
is much lower so it is lower here and it's much higher here and because it goes from higher to lower it should be around unit or it should be around 1 in this range so e uh, is equal to 1 about in the center so this is uh, what the elasticity of demand is and uh, 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 in the next tutorial we'll talk about the perfect elasticity uh, and inelasticity uh, for certain products and uh, I'll see you then. Thank you.